Hi, my name is Matthew Nawiso. I'm an actor, I'm a film producer and director. As an artist, I went to Namasagali College and this is the place that inspired me to love arts. So in Namasagali we used to do a lot of music and a lot of acting. And after I came out of Namasagali, I continued doing music as a singer. We used to do a lot of music, singing at karaoke pubs like uh, Sabrina's pubs with all the big names that you know in the industry today. But then again, at the time, we didn't think music was really going to be something that was going to put food on the table because we were really hustling. So at about some point, I decided to do a day job. After doing a couple of projects and after doing the hostel series, so I kept thinking, am I going to keep looking for gigs or do I create gigs for myself and other people like me? So that is when I and my wife went into making the Navuiso films and under it we've done a couple of projects. My experience in the industry has been uh, an interesting, a great one I should say. Every set is different. It's there are new challenges both as an actor and as a filmmaker. There are new challenges with every set. Of course, there are many other general challenges that are like funding, like uh, putting up with the headache of certain actors, or you know, getting to, to, to align yourself with a producer or a director as, a, as talent. So there are these challenges, but I think there is nothing that is not doable. It has been an amazing uh, journey. It's been a great journey. I've, I'm having fun as a filmmaker. When I was your age, I always sat with my parents and we would eat, drink, laugh, and talk about the good things that God has done for us as a family unit. As an actor, I've been a part of very many projects, from movies like Battle of the Souls, A State Research Bureau, A Good Catholic Girl, which won me the best actor in a supporting role in the African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards, which happens in Lagos, Nigeria. Other movies like The Pardon, Mercy of the Jungle, Till Death Do Us Apart, and series like Chadala, The Hostel, Hashtag Family, and Peke Town, and many, many others. I think I understand, not just reading foie, but sort of knowing what will come and how they'll ask it. Exactly, you, you're a bright girl, Omutoni. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you just need a little. As a result of being a filmmaker, we've gotten a couple of achievements. One, we've won very many awards, both locally and internationally. The first feature we did, which was Rain, won the best film in the London Eye International Film Festival and many, many other awards. But besides that, also as a production house, there are other movies that we have done, like Bed of Phones, which just won the recently London Art House Film Festival for best film in the Africa focus. As a film producer, yes, you'll find uh, ish challenges with actors, especially who think they have made it. And so you plan to make a shoot and then somebody won't come up, or if they come up, they come late. And it's a cost in terms of time and money. And that is a big challenge to a low budget filmmaker. As an industry, we have a couple of challenges. Uh, like one, we do not have a film commission. We do not have a film policy. There are lots and lots of copyright issues and it looks like there is nothing or very little we can do about it. And that is when we need the ministries that are in charge of us to come in place and fix this. We also have another big challenge, which is distribution. Many filmmakers have made films and then when it comes to distribution you do not know exactly where you're going to sell this. Uh, the local broadcasting stations are not buying local content. In fact, they've actually gone into competing with the filmmaker, which I feel is not right. The filmmakers should make the films, the broadcasters broadcast. Everybody plays a role. This poor guy even attempted to have an abortion. You know that that was risking that, right? I think the obstacle for the growth of industry starts largely with the market. 
Yeah, because if I am going to make a film, I need to make projections of what I will make out of it in the market. But once the market is not clear, then you're not even so sure, should I do a high-end product? Will I get my return on investment? Maybe not. So maybe I should do a low-budget thing, which I think I might get back my return on investment, and that really, really hinders growth. I think the other thing is uh, education about film. We don't have like many film schools here. Every film producer is, I should say 90% of Ugandan filmmakers are self-taught. So until when you have a workshop here and there to get one, everything, and I think also that hampers our speed of growth. Assalamu alaikum Haj. Walaikum salam. Wallahi, nkulami ngutunu lila kabina kumu kazi Haj. Odavi kila darango umuagad. Simonyo agara mungera kubolina. Aha, Farida hizo kuzitanga chumuko zechu. To reduce foreign content on our TV or in our local industry, we need a lot of partnerships, say between the filmmakers and the broadcasters. If we agree to work together, we can have more local content on, on air and that should automatically take down the foreign content. What do you mean you can't? And my advice to the young filmmakers is first, you need to love what you're doing. And if you love it, you need to take a lot of time to do research about it. And most importantly, be humble. Listen to the people who have been there before you. They'll guide you, they'll help you, they'll make you better. <laughs>